A recent study analyzed iron isotopes to identify a 2.5 million year old supernova. The researchers linked this explosion to a radiation surge that hit Earth simultaneously. They believe the radiation was strong enough to break the DNA of living organisms, possibly causing the viruses in Lake Tanganyika to mutate into new species. The researchers started by examining iron 60, a radioactive form of iron from exploding stars found on the seafloor. They determined its age by measuring how much it had turned into non-radioactive forms. They found two different ages, some iron 60 formed 2.5 million years ago, and other atoms formed 6.5 million years ago. To find the origin of the iron, they trace the movements of celestial bodies. Our solar system is in an ample open space called the local bubble. Earth entered this bubble and passed through its stardust-rich edge about 6.5 million years ago, which brought the older iron 60.